Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato, and this is what if Naruto had Sun and Moon Dojutsu. Now, <laughs> sorry, wait. So, last time that we left off with the whole Naruto has Sun and Moon Dojutsu was where Naruto had it to be in his house with Menma. Or, I mean, not house, um, what's it called? Apartments in his apartments isolated from people, but his grandfather came to go save him from this whole village The leaf village Kazu was his name He is the father of Kushina and the grandfather of both Naruto and Menma Sunlaw was uh, Sunlaw was someone from the clan of the Sundo uh, clan and yeah De and a bunch of Uzumakis and Mundo and Sundo clan went to the Leaf Village to retrieve them. Which ended up in a small little battle which Donzo died. And um... But before, uh, before them leaving and managing to find Naruto and Menma, a solar eclipse happened. When the eclipse happened, Naruto actually unlocked his third eye. Yes, um, Naruto unlocked his third eye. Menma unlocked a two-tailed cloak. Also, with Karama and all that, he managed to unlock the uh, eclipse eye. And yeah, the eclipse just looks like that. This is the eclipse eye. I know I should definitely get like something else better than this. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably use this, or I can get another one. Um, so, when Naruto activated the Eclipse Eye, him and Nar um, him and, uh, Menmo was going against Kakashi, and basically Naruto destroyed Kakashi's right eye of his Sharingan. Was it right eye or left eye? Oh, never mind, just Sharingan. Just destroyed it to the point of Izanaki point that you can't even use it. You're, like, blind at that point. So, yeah... Kakashi cannot use a Sharingan, so he's not no more the copy ninja of, like, whatever, how many juices was it? A thousand juices? And, um... What's it going? Uh, Naruto also did two attacks that were, like, Sun Bomb and Moon Bomb with the Eclipse Bomb, but there were big... <laughs> So yeah, Naruto, uh, when he did the Eclipse Bomb and the Sun Bomb and the Moon Bomb, he destroyed a good part of the village. And, of course, uh, Naruto passed out after the Eclipse was over. Sun with Mema, the, uh, one of the Sun members managed to just carry Naruto with one of the Moon members carrying Menma. And Kazu was like, I will destroy the village later. And they all left. So, Naruto woke up the next day, or a couple weeks ago, or however many long you want to say. But Naruto wake up, and he was confused. His brother was uh, still asleep, but Naruto was confused where he was. Until he kind of remembers a little bit about what happened, but not really. After he, after he unlocks the clip's eye, and when he was fighting against Kakashi, well, before everything happened like that, when he got knocked out and all that, he can't remember a single thing what happened. So, Naruto woke up, he got up, and um, a member from the Uzumaki clan uh, went to check on both Menma and Naruto's condition so he opened the door and um wait why did i say he i meant she she opened the door and um when she opened the door she saw naruto getting up and she then called for the uzumaki the real doctor to come check on naruto and uh menno because she said that naruto is awoke now and kazu was like huh what is that commotion Wait, I wonder if my grandson is okay. So he went to go check. 
Sunlaw was right behind him also. Now, uh, the doctor checked up on Naruto, and Naruto was confused, and, uh, doctor says, you're good. Memo wakes up also, he's like, what is that commotion? Ugh. And then he sees, uh, the doctor, the doctor checks up on him. She said, he's fine, you two are fine, you are free to go. Well, until, you probably go meet your grandfather. Oh, wait, I forget that you kids are new to this village. So, of course, Kazu kind of walks in and says, Hello there, uh, doctor. Is my grandchildren okay? And the doctor just points at them and said, Yeah, they're fine. And uh, Kazu was like, Good. Hello there. You must be Memma Uzumaki and Naruto Uzumaki. And Naruto said, Yes. And, and Memma said, Yeah. Why? So, Naruto, he is just looking at Kazu, and Kazu was like, okay, so my name is Kazu, um, Sendo and Mundo clan. Um, I am the leader of the Sendo Mundo, well, mostly like a Kage of the Sendo Mundo and uh, Uzumaki. Um, sort of. I'm not really much the leader, I'm sort of like the top leader, but the... Two leaders are the Sundo and Mundo leaders, leader, and then there's the Uzumaki leader also. <clears throat> I'm sort of like a Kage that checks up on like how everyone is doing. Well, that's what Kazu says. And Solomon was like, yes, he is sort of the leader like that. And Naruto says, so why did you decide to go so far in attacking the village to actually get us? Kazu said, well, you two are Uzumakis. I had it to retrieve you back here for, uh, to meet your family. Well, to meet your clan, the Uzumakis. Not many had survived, but there's, we're still repopulating and all that. And also, you two has the, well, I mean, Naruto. He looks at Naruto. Naruto, you have the similar hairstyle of both the Sundo Mundo um, and the eyes, the Sundo Mundo clan. And my, on the other hand, you have my daughter's um, feature of hair. And also, I guess, your father's. But mostly your mother's. My daughter. So, uh, yeah. He also does explain on how everything is happening. He explains on Menma is a Chinchuriki, which Naruto kind of already knew. He was like, yeah, I already knew he was in Chinchuriki. And Menma was confused. He's like, what is Chinchuriki? And Kazu was like, you don't know what Chinchuriki is? Wait, Naruto, how do you know? Naruto says, I managed to get into the library, which they wouldn't let us in, but I managed to get in there anyway and told them to F off or something. And, um, yeah. I got in and read about that. And Kazu was like, you're a very smart and talented kid. So he does explain what a Chinchuriki is and Menma says, oh, okay. And he wants to check. Well, he already now knows that Naruto is a very, very great descendant from the clan leader, the original clan leader for the Sun and Sundo and the uh, Mundo clan. Now, that happens, and um, he tells Naruto that you have three releases with the Sun of Mundo, and the third one is called the Eclipse Eyes. The um, Sundo Dojutsu with the Sun releases, the Mundo Dojutsu and the Mundo releases, and now the Eclipse Dojutsu with the uh, Eclipse abilities. That we don't actually know how you can use them since none of us can actually use Eclipse power, uh, release so since we don't actually know how the, we can teach you Eclipse release since none of us actually know how to use it I think we have scrolls on it but yes yeah, so some of them do have scrolls on the um, home 
So yeah, Naruto is like, so, is this my, so these are my releases? And yeah, basically Kazu said, yeah, I think we do have scrolls on the whole Eclipse uh, release, but you're going to have to be reading them and actually learning how to use them. No one's be able to teach you since no one actually has it. So yeah, Naruto was like, okay. And then Kazu looks at Medma and says, I don't know if you have the Sundo Mundo clan inside you. Or any of their beliefs. I don't know if that Nine Tails is blocking off your abilities to even have him. Which, if that is a thing, or the Uzumaki was more dominant to actually took over the whole Sun and Mundo, um, to actually block it from ever you using it, you probably be able to only learn. Your Uzumaki and your father's side. And Menma said, so who is my father? And Naruto said, yeah, who is our father? Uh, Menma said also the same. Um, so, because it was like, your father was the Fort Hokage. If I can get that right information. Yeah, the Fort Hokage. We decide to seal the whole nine tails into Memma if I can get that right. For some reason he didn't seal any nine tails into Naruto. And Naruto was like, so Memma had this more pain. I already knew he didn't seal any because I didn't feel any demonic energy inside me. And because it was like, yes, you have none. Memma has the four nine tails. And I don't know why the villagers chase you, Naruto. I guess Haruzen did a freaking, or the third Hokage did a freaking terrible job in keeping the secret for Mamma's secret and decided to divide it into both of you. And Naruto says, true. <clears throat> and then Kazu was gonna tell them the important question. So he both tell Naruto and Mamma. Do you hate the Leaf Village? And Naruto said yes. And Kazu was like, okay, there's one vote. And Mama just looks at him, confused. And then he thinks about it. He's like, well, I hate the Leaf Village if they try to hurt my brother. Since he's the one that always protects me. His twin brother. And so, it seems a little vague, but... Kazu said, that's probably a maybe. So, of course, both Naruto and uh, Menma were shown around the, uh, well, went back to where Kazu's house is at. Yes, because it's sort of a village. A village compound, whatever thing. And, um, Kazu is just like, so this is where you two are going to be living with me. Since I don't really live with anyone else. Since I thought I could be able to bring my daughter here. And then Naruto asked the important question. Where, what about grandmother? And Kazu was like. Oh. Well. Kazu was just like well. Because he felt kind of sad and all that. And then Naruto was like oh. I, I didn't mean to say it like that. Uh, and then I was like, wait, what happened? And, um, because it was like, don't worry about this, kids. I will teach you, I will tell you when you're older. And then Kazu left them. And so Naruto was like, so, wait, what about us walking around with the, the Sundo, Mundo, and the Uzumaki's uh, compound? Then Kazu looks at him and looks at them and said, I will get someone for you to show you around. Okay, you too. And so Naruto said, okay. And Mama said, sure. And Mama and Naruto actually found the room. Because it was the most easiest places where to find them. Because Naruto and Mama were knocked out for three days. 
And so they managed to put their, uh, what's it called? Put their, uh, what's it called? Rooms in the uh, Kazoo's house and all that. And the rooms are legit. You just find their names and just say, one says Naruto and one says Menma. Now, when Naruto goes in, Naruto's uh, room is similar colorless with his hair. And uh, Menma is color with less. Not colorless. It's colored with like his hair. His room. Same with. Uh, Menma and Naruto. Yeah. Something like that. And so Naruto does have a bed and all that. And Naruto kind of just lays on his bed. And then he thinks about. All the. All the. Um, what's it called. Answers that he got. And his father. Who was named. Who was the Four Hokage. Minato Namikaze. Yes, basically, Kazu know about Minato Namikaze and all that. Because he was one of them people that actually helped the uh, Uzumakis and all that. But, yeah. Naruto just thought of like, so our father was the Fort Okage and he sealed the full demon inside of my brother. But, if he was a Fort Hokage, why did everyone hate us? That didn't make any sense. And Naruto was like, ah, he was just like trying to think. And of course, he hated the fact that his brother was hated. And Naruto just wanted to help him and all that. By trying to protect him and all that. So, of course, Naruto is just like, Hmm, I will think about this later. I will now try to sleep. And then Kazu does ask the leader of both the Sundo and Mundo clan. Now, why those two to actually show about Naruto and, uh, Naruto and Menma around? Not really both the leaders, but their daughters. You see here. The Sundo's daughter, uh, Sundo, uh, Sundo leader daughter. He had a daughter, not a son, so of course he was just like kind of sad, but he kind of names her, um, name her was called Sunday, uh, Sunday Sundo because everyone's last name would be Sundo, or if they were in the, in the Mundo clan, that would be named Mundo for their last name. Now, her name was Sunny, or should I say Summer or Sunny? Sun, Sunlet, Sunlet, Sunlet. Ah, uh, wait. Let me think of a name. Now, her name, of course, I was gonna call it a Japanese name, but I'm just gonna call her Sunny Sundo. So she is the daughter of the Sundo clan, the leader. Now, the leader of uh, the Mundo clan, the Mundo clan also had a daughter, which saddened him, but he, he just had to deal with it. So, of course, the Mundo clan's daughter name is Luna uh, Mundo. So, of course, the lead the two leaders just decided to tell them both to go to the um, Kage's house. And they're confused why, but they just had it to go. To show two people around the village. So of course. They are similar to the same age as Naruto and Menma. And when they get in there. Uh, Sunny is like a joyful person. Like she's cheerful and all that. She's positive. But Luna on the other hand is sort of. Cold sort of and all that. Not very cheerful and all that. Entire half the time. And um. When they get there and they knock, uh, Memma was in the kitchen trying to like cook or something. He was like, hmm, how do I cook here? Hmm, because Memma isn't like the greatest cook, so of course, Naruto's always the one who had to cook for him and all that. And Memma was like, I don't want to bother uh, Naruto, so I'm going to try to do this myself. And so, um, Luna and Sunny was like, Sunny was like, hmm... Probably the Kage is sleeping. 
And then Luna said, yeah, if he is, then we should go back home and all that. But he says show to be, but my father told me to show to people around the village. He pro And your father also probably said the same. Luna was like, yes, he does say the same. Oh, why? My sleep. So he was like, come on, Luna, stop being mean. And Menma heard a knock, and he was like, the, it, sort of, what Menma was doing was sort of trying to cook eggs, but his eggs was burning. And so he heard the uh, knock, and he was like, oh, 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 it could be, it could be our grandfather. So, of course, the first reaction he had was grab the pan. Of course, it was burning pan, run to the door, open it, see the two people, didn't care, throw the pan. Ow, sorry. Ow, I heard it. So, uh, so, not ow. Sort of. Ow, ow. Uh, no. Why did I just say that? Uh, I fucked up on my words. So, sorry. But Menma grabbed the pan, run out, saw uh, Sunday and Luna. But uh, uh, Menma did not care about them and threw the pan, even how it was burning hot. He was like, ah, ah, why the fuck did that hurt it? And then he noticed both of them and said, hello there. Um, are you looking for our grandfather or uh, what? And Tony was like, did you burn yourself? Uh, Mama said, yeah, I was sort of trying to cook for myself since my twin brother is sleeping right now. And so I didn't want to bother him. And our grandfather left us alone in the house. So we had no clue how to do things. Well, I mean, I, I had no clue how to cook. Uh, my brother always cooked for me. So that's what Menma said to uh, Sunny and Luna. And Luna was like, I guess this an idiot. And Sunny was like, oh my god, are you hurt? And Menma said, I'm okay. I have very fast healing abilities. Also, I also want to mention something. The Uzumaki also had a daughter, the leader about it. Had a daughter. And um, just told the daughter to also go to Akage house and so she showed up and her name was so I'm gonna just call her Zakarin Uzumaki and so she showed up and saw uh, Menma and well she saw Sunny and Luna and she said hello you two and Luna said the same to her and all that and then Zakarin saw uh, Menma and said so who are you and why are you in the Kage's house and why is her hand sort of like healing really fast? Uh, Memna says, okay, first, you can come in, I guess so. So, of course, they all three come in. And, um, why does it smell like smoke, uh, Zacharin said. And Memma said, well, I tried to cook. That's why my hand is burning. And my name is Memma Uzumaki. Uh, the grandson of, uh, Kazu Uzumaki. Uh, my grandfather. And my brother uh, is also here. I think he's asleep. And Naruto wasn't really sleeping, but he did hear the noises. And he just thought, oh, Menma burning up something. So Naruto opened his door and saw, Hey, Menma, are you okay? Did you burn the house or something? And then he saw uh, Menma, uh, Luna, Sunny, and Zakarin. And basically... They all looked at him, and uh, Menma said, Oh, hello, brother. Um, uh, no, I did not burn the house. I burned my hand. But you know how I can heal really fast. Yeah, I know you can heal really fast. Uh, Sunny, Luna, and um, Zacharin uh, noticed what they call um, Naruto's hair, and Naruto's eyes was mostly for the Sundo and Mundo uh, clan and all that. And then they Ask him, uh, so wait, who are you? And Naruto says, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. If you're wondering for my hair, my hair and my eyes, um, my grandfather told me that I am related to both mixture, since, yeah, and he explains and all that. I also have the two dojutsus for the uh, Sundo Mundo and the Eclipse Eye. And Sunny, Luna, and uh, Zacharin looked at him and say, Eclipse Eye? What do you mean? Naruto kind of says, that's 
Eclipse Eye is sort of the mixture between the Sundo and Mundo together, and, and he says something about um, great descendants for the original leader. I don't know what he was talking about. I'm a little too tired to even think about it. And, um, my mom's like, yeah, and I'm also sort of a descendant. I guess I have mostly my mother's uh, Uzumaki jeans and my father's uh, Namikaze jeans. And then Zakarin said, oh, so that explains your red hair and your yellow hair. And uh, Menma said, yeah. Now Menma is smiling while Naruto is sort of tired and he doesn't even smile half the time. He's just kind of tired. He's like, ah, why? And so Zakarin, uh, Sunny, and Luna was like, well, we're here to show you around the whole village. Around the village and the compounds. So, the Sundo, Mundo, and Uzumaki compound. Around also the village and all that. So you two can remember and not get lost. Remember said, oh, thank God. I was going to do that anyway. I was going to go look around. And Naruto says, that would have been a terrible show. We would have been lost so instantly. I didn't, well, when I was looking around here, when we were coming to our grandfather's house, I noticed this place was sort of really big. Now, of course, this isn't big as, like, where we lived before here. Now, they said, oh, yeah, we heard that you two live in the uh, Leaf Village, so how was it there? Naruto says, apart from just getting chased by the villagers and trying to get kills, I would have said it was a terrible village and I don't ever want to go back over there. And Luna was like, ah, sarcastic. So it's like the, uh, the Mundo clan. Yes, the Mundo clan is sarcastic sometimes. And the Sundo clan is sort of just like honest and all that, truthful and all that. And very, uh, prideful people. Same with the Mundo clan, all of And Naruto says, well, apart from that, the only thing I liked from the elite village was the food. Uh, the ramen guy. Yes, the ramen guy was the only people that did not hate Naruto. Or Manma. Now Manma was like, yeah, the ramen guy, that guy was amazing, haha. <laughs> Now, I can't remember the ramen guy's name, and I'm not going to try to fucking say it right now off of my head, because it's going to fuck up or something. So, I'm just going to keep calling him ramen guy. So, yeah, Naruto was like, yeah, that guy was actually one of the most amazing people. Like, they, he actually gave us food for free. I'm so sad that we kind of left him. Yeah. And then Sunny was like, well, we don't have ramen place here, but, or ramen guy or whatever. And, um, Luna was like, no, we don't have that. We have other foods here that people come and try to sell their food and all that. And, um, uh, Zakarin Uzumaki was like, well, yeah, we don't have any of that, but, hmm, the cop, so yeah, we don't have any of that, and Naruto says, luckily I managed to take some of his recipe to actually now learn how to make my own, so of course, um, Naruto's like, at least I can make my own, right, uh, Menma, Menma was like, wait, you know how the recipe and all that? And Naruto says, yeah, of course. I'm smart. <laughs> and I always try to tell you the recipe, but you won't listen to me, Menma. And Menma's like, oh. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Brother. Um, so yeah, that was happening. And Naruto just said, okay. Well. Whatever, brother. So, Naruto went back to actually get his jacket, his coat. So yeah, after after like fifteen minutes, um, well no, fifteen minutes and a couple extra minutes of 
Naruto's and Minma's tutorial around the village. Um, and the compounds. Naruto got the hang of it and actually remember everything. While Menma kind of got lost multiple times. And Sunny had to get him. Zakarin also had to help him. And Naruto and Luna actually just watched this whole mess. Naruto didn't laugh at him. He just says, brother, what are you doing? Menma was one time, he was just like... He was looking around, of course, around the village, and he was somehow on top of a building, and he was scared to get down. He did not know how he got up there. Because he kind of learned about chakra control, but he gets lost very easily. He's like Zoro and all that, but not um, probably for not asking people to actually know about the help and all that. Help for directions. So, of course, Sunny and, Lun uh, Sunny and uh, Zacharin had to help him. So yeah, that happened, and um, when they got back to the house, Sunny and Zakarin were sort of tired, and Nara just says, how about I'll make you guys ramen? And Luna was like, sure. Luna, and, I mean, not Luna, uh, Sunny and Zakarin was like, yes, please. And Memo was like, come on, bro. And... Nar to grab uh, memos from the shirt and say, okay, you better just sit down. I'm not letting you anywhere near the kitchen. And memos like, why? <laughs> Luna just says, how about I help you about the food and all that? Sunny and um, uh, Zachary notice uh, Luna's actually wanting to help someone. Because Luna and um, Naruto kind of know they have like similar personalities. So it's just like either not caring about people or just like too tired to give a shit. And also the fact that they want to get stronger to protect what they love. So yeah. So. So of course now Naruto is just like. So he's making the ramen, and he actually makes a pretty good ramen to Sunny, Zacharin, Luna, and Menma, and himself. And Menma was like, this tastes so good, just like home. Or, sort of home. Mostly the ramen guy. And Naruto says, yeah, because I'm a good cook. <laughs> and Luna actually learned how to uh, actually make this uh, ramen and all that. And she tastes it, and it's good, and everyone says, it's good. And Kazu gets back to the house and says, oh, hello, you um, five. How you two, how you doing? And uh, Luna, Sunny, and Zachary kind of stand up and bow down to uh, Kazu. And Kazu is like, that's unnecessary, girls. Please, just sit down with my grandkids. And Narja says, wait, we had to stand up to... Uh, and... Because it was like, no, you don't need to. So, um, how was your day in looking around the village? Naruto says, I got the hang of it. I'm trying to find where I'm at another. Uh, Mema says, I think I need a little more help on where to find another. <laughs> and, um, because it was like, that's fine. At least you two know about where you're at in the village and all that. So... Before I kind of end it off uh, here for uh, to make the next part next time or whenever I got to have time or whatever. Um, back to the Leaf Village. The Leaf Village were, was in shatters and um, there was a lot of problems. There was multiple civilians dead. There was multiple Ambus, Jonings, Chunings, Gennings dead from Naruto's attack. And with his grandfather's attack. With the Uzumaki and the uh, clan. That was unknown to them. So of course. Um, the people who died. Were just random people. But. Um, there's one person that. Uh, has to be killed off here. And that is. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know who needs to die here. Um, who died was a great portion of the Hyuga population. And who actually died was um, some of the elders 
and uh, Hugo, uh, whatever his name. Um, I keep forgetting his name. Like, fuck, I keep forgetting his name. Uh, Hiyashi Hugo. He died, and Hinata added to be the next leader. And since a bunch of elders of the uh, Hugo members, like almost all of them, got destroyed from the eclipse bomb and all that, like they died and their eyes were just destroyed. And so, Naji had to be one of the elders, which Naji was confused, but yeah, he had to be one of them. Hinabi, Naji, and Hinata had to grow up really fast to actually learn about their clan and all that. And so they could not really, uh, like, learn to become, like, a ninja and all that, but, yeah. But the one thing that's good and positive about that, they actually made a change on their, uh, whole Hugo clan. Um, about the whole, um, uh, side branches, yeah, they got rid of that. Sasuke, he had it to, um, he was okay and all that. But Kakashi, his eye was gone, was destroyed, and so he, there was no way he could become the strong ninja. He could only, uh, he was only like, he was high Joni, now he's sort of a medium Joni. He's still strong in his, like, terms, but his Sharingan was destroyed by Naruto. And, of course... Uh, Haruzin wasn't gonna tell. Oh, yeah, let me just not tell Jiraiya. So, Haruzin did not want to tell Jiraiya about the bad news about Minato's kids. Sort of went to a clan, sort of with Uzumaki. Now, that's happening in the Leaf Village. Now, um, we would go back to Naruto, and then Naruto. He's going to be trained for three months in the Sundo clan uh, techniques and all that. And also the Mundo. And also the Uzumaki. But that will be until next part. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I don't know why I keep saying Dragon Ball Z. It's just like, it's stuck in my head. So, yeah. I mean, what if Naruto was... I mean, what if Naruto had... Sun and Moon Dojutsu. Haha, ha, have a nice potato day, potato night, and potato sleep. Also, I know some people are going to ask me to make scripts for my what ifs, but you see here, I don't care. I never cared about the subscribers or anything. And also, I just do this for freaking fun. Like, can I not have fun? Do I have to script almost all my what ifs? She. If you don't like me scripting things, or I mean, if you like me to script things, then go to another channel that actually does that. Because I am one of the most laziest people to actually wanting to actually write or something, or script, whatever. So yeah, have a nice potato, potato sleep. I just wanted to mention that at the end. Potato.